Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be building responsive websites using Breakpoint and Suzy. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is install Breakpoint. Now you can do that by typing in uh, sudo gem install Breakpoint just like that and since I already have breakpoint installed uh, I don't have to do this but you're gonna need to go ahead and let that take a second there to install now after that's installed we're going to be adding this to a project that we already have uh, you could use a, a command um, to add this to a project when you're creating it uh, with a command with the compass create command however I think it's important to know how to modify this config RB and stuff like that. So we're going to come to our config.rb where we had require Suzy before and now we're just going to type in require and then in quotes we're going to just type breakpoint. So now that we've required breakpoint and we've installed breakpoint what we can then do is restart our compass watch. Now, if you had your compass watch running while you did this, you're gonna wanna restart it so that compass can uh, essentially find breakpoint or else it's going to say that, you know, once we start adding some code, it's gonna say that it can't find it. So next we can just say, um, in fact, you shouldn't normally have to type sudo here, but I'm getting weird permissions error and I've heard it might be because of a new version of compass. Either way, you just have to do uh, compass watch as we've been doing, or in my case, I now have to do sudo compass watch for the time being, just like that. And it's now going to watch my files. And so now that it's watching, I can in fact save and make sure that it is in fact uh, compiling here. Check back to my iTerm. Okay, it's waiting for changes. Cool. So now to actually get to start using breakpoint, we can just type in add import and then in quotes breakpoint at the top of our document here before we start using the mixins that breakpoint provides. Now, if you've watched the Singularity series, you're gonna be familiar with Breakpoint already. And although Suzy has what's called the Breakpoint Toolkit, which we'll go over in a couple of videos, the Breakpoint stuff, if you know it, you can just skip because really this stuff is the exact same. So we're gonna be building this site to be, um, we're gonna build it to be, um, let's say mobile first, right? So what we want is to start wrapping our layouts and things like that in a media query so that when we first come to our site, and let's come here, we don't have this mushed up stuff. We just have one column with our main content and then our side content below it. So to get started, um, I'm actually gonna delete this wide layout because we're not using this anymore. I commented on last video and I'm gonna delete this, this code as well right down here. And then I'm going to make this just simple, span 8. Okay, so that sort of resets where we're at. But now I want to wrap these two items here. This includes span 8 and includes span 4 of 9. I want to wrap those in a breakpoint mixin. So what we're doing here is essentially saying at this breakpoint, then snap to the grid, right? So we can define our grid settings, right? All this stuff exists. Our container is still going to be 80%, but nothing exactly happens with our grid until we're using these span, uh, this span mix in anyways. So let's go ahead and type at include, uh, and then we're going to say break point. Now let's say we want this to trigger at 500 pixels, and then we can have these brackets here. Now inside of here, we can just throw in all this stuff. Okay, so what's essentially this breakpoint uh, mixin is doing is it's really just wrapping our things in a media query. What's nice about breakpoint is it allows for really quick and easy media queries. You don't have to remember a whole ton of stuff. You just have to remember breakpoint and then you can assign it a number value. Most importantly, there are some extra features, which of course we'll talk about it and we have talked about it in the singularity video, but there's some extra features just to make your life a little bit better here and there. So now that we've saved this, Let's check out our CSS to see what was generated. So far, everything looks normal. 
And then we just have our media uh, minimum width of 500 pixels and then the modifications that happen there. So let's come to our site and refresh. Now you'll see that everything's in one single column and when we widen this out to 500 pixels, we now have these two columns, perfect. And just like that, we have a responsive website. So this is a really bare bones example. We're going from one column to 12 columns, but really uh, this is all you need to know about building responsive sites using Breakpoint and Suzy. Well, maybe not all you need to know, but this is all you need to know before you can just start building a complete responsive site with Breakpoint and Suzy. Essentially, you have your grid uh, that's set up and then at the Breakpoint, we're assigning things to this grid. Now that's great, but there's gonna be some more complex examples. In fact, in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to change the layout, like Susie's layout settings. We're going to have some more complex breakpoints and we're basically just going to take this example further by making a more advanced responsive site. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit us up at Twitter or Facebook, uh, Level Up Tuts forum. We'd love to hear from you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye.